foot away. That's right. Yay! Yay! You did awesome! I'm so proud of you! Mm. Oh, I'm happy. You're happy? <laughs> <laughs> Is back. You want to go to the grocery store? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ren, we're going to do a new lesson. You see that? You good? Yeah. Is it cold, buddy? Oh, come on, let's get your jacket on. What did you eat? Okay, buddy. You want to watch this while mommy shops? Hey, Ren, which one do you want? You want this one? Should we get this for Pippa? Is Pippa like that kind? Okay. Ren, do you want to go find the cookies? Cookie, please. Okay. Cookie. Cookie. Can you say cookie, please? Cookie. Cookie, we're good. Say yes, please. Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> yeah. It's sugar. It's gonna be sweet. Say thank you. Ren, can you say thank you? You're welcome, Thank you so much. Ren. So this trip was a win for everyone, huh, Ren? You got a cookie. Mommy got groceries. And we got a Gemini session in. So, doing pretty good today. I call it a win. Hi, Mom. How are you? Hey, Laura. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing super well. So, tell me how it's going. I know it's been a little bit different between Fox and Ren. So, let's first talk about Ren. How's everything going with Ren? Ren is doing great. Like, she is loving um, the like the entire program um super motivated to do her sessions every day and i mean we're just like blown away with like all that she's learning and just how into it that she was like just completely blew away our expectations wow well i saw the video that you sent with her um doing the testing and she just nailed every single one and her articulation is really good too have you noticed that since she's been doing this just this couple weeks that her articulation's improved yes like absolutely um and to be honest when we did the test i was i was like nervous i kept putting it off like i was i didn't know how she would do and the, and the video you saw i think was her first test and my husband was sitting with her and he just did it. And I heard, he like called me in from the other room and was so excited. I mean, she was just nailing it, you know? Um, so we were so excited. Um, I just wasn't expecting that like week one, you know? Probably the end of level seven, we're gonna start, want her to start doing the reading videos at the same time so that when she gets to kindergarten, she will be reading well. Have you been using it in the car? She's actually using it right now in the car. Um, but we had to take a trip today that was like 45 minutes away. And, you know, the whole way there, she was really engaged and had fun doing that. So how is she doing with the verb tenses now? Because I know that's such a hard thing to teach. She like really has picked that up and that's been like something really fun and exciting for her. Um, we just kind of saw the light bulb like click 
Um, with that, so yeah, that's been really, I don't know, I, we just hadn't thought about her needing to learn that yet. Um, but she's been using them appropriately, like around the house in conversations. Um, so that's clicking. That's awesome. That's so good. I know Brooks has been time, things like tomorrow, yesterday, today. Um, past and present, those are very difficult to teach in real life. With a yeah. video, you can do it because you can show things happening before and after. Yeah, and she's like, she's like predicting them too. Like when the next video comes up, she's predicting writing. Like when they're showing the video before they say the word, she's saying it. So she's getting that there's a difference there, you know. And so I definitely think the videos are just, you know, bringing light to that in such an awesome way but for fox he's never really been like much of like a tv watcher even like watching the ipad um it's just not something he's really into he, me, he had some health challenges though can you tell me what was going on with his health over the last month yeah so he um he had a heart cast last week and um we kind of were just expecting them to do some like testing during that heart cath, but they ended up um, needing to do an angioplasty um, during the cath to kind of open up some arteries that were causing his like levels, pressure levels to be off. So, so yeah, so he has had some stuff go on that kind of came up. Um, and so he's been recovering from that. Um, and he's also had like random stuff like not being able to wear his glasses because of like some dry skin on the back of his head that was causing issues. So he's on level two with animal sounds. And so that one's easy for us to participate as a family. We've all been able to like help motivate him because and make it fun as a family. Um, but we have to get a little bit more creative about like if he has the option to play or sit or watch the iPad, he's going to play and completely ignore it, you know? I actually went out to the store. I bought a high chair for this family, brought him back because he was not sitting in a high chair. He was sitting in a booster seat. And, and he had eye issues uh, and he was not able to wear his glasses. They, they, they weren't sitting right and they were bothering him. So we just put the high chair in front of the biggest dream they had. We, we, we haven't tried that yet, but we, um, he, he is in a booster seat right now. So that kind of makes sense. Like we could pull out one of our old high chairs and, and try that for sure. You're doing great. This is, I know the first month, this is all, that's what the first month is all about is getting it into, like you say, get rid of in a schedule. So I'm excited to see what next month brings. I think if you incorporate the high chair with Fox, you're going to see a, a lot more attention. You're going to see and hear new sounds. We can't wait for the day that we can hear all those little thoughts going through his head. Yeah, this is exciting stuff. All right. Well, okay, thanks well, so much. And yeah. I'll talk to you in a month. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Laura. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, buddy. We're home. Get these groceries out. Did you have fun at the store? What'd you do? You got a cookie? All right. You want to take your jacket off? All right. Good job. Right. What? Good job. Oh my gosh. Play. Play. Yay. Sit. Sit. Good job, buddy. <laughs> You're doing so good. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Run! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Good job, Ren! Are you so smart? You're so smart. It was really nice talking to Laura today um, because with Fox, like, it has been, he hasn't just, like, completely engaged um, in the videos. And, but I really, like, that seems so simple. Like, her idea of putting the high chair in front of the TV, like, I don't know why I didn't think about that.
The support at Gemini has been really great. We're not getting paid to say any of this. I felt a little bit crazy because I didn't understand a few things. And like with Fox, I felt like I should have just like known what to do. But they have staff at Gemini and there's a lady that I've been talking to. I've talked to her a few times. It's probably embarrassing how many times I've talked to her. But um, she has a kid with Down syndrome. And like, honestly, like I see her becoming a friend if I keep having to reach out to her. But we've talked about other stuff other than just the videos. So it's been a great resource that I was not expecting when we started this process. Hey, well, oh, well, I'm budding. Give me just a minute. I gotta log in. Oh. With four kids, I mean, it can be pretty hectic, um, our schedule, but it's really been pretty easy to work Gemini into our schedule naturally. Um, like with Fox, we do it a lot during nap time or breakfast um, to kind of break it up throughout his day. But we're really excited to see what the next month's gonna hold.